Hello. Didn't see you there. I have a very exciting story for you all today. <laughs> it's about plagiarism. Have you ever committed academic dishonesty? I thought not. <laughs> Our story begins with Holmes, Watson and Hudson. Unfortunately, due to Holmes's crippling addictive personality, the uh, social dynamic is a little awkward. Well, that was tedious. They let you on the train looking like that. None of the Ubers would take me. Anything? Uh, military coup in Turkey? That! Uh, cabinet reshuffle? Nothing of importance! Oh, actually, who's the new education minister? Craig Lundy. Oh, I don't mind him. Where was I? You were yelling. Right. Watson, if I don't have a case, then I'll, I'll need... I'll need some of it. No. Holmes, we agree. Where are they? Watson. Miss Hudson! Holmes, you're doing really well, so don't give up now, right? Please? Can't help you. Sorry. Can you keep it down? Have you touched my secret stash? You know I don't touch your things. I'm not your housekeeper. But keep it down. This is a bloody law firm. Sorry, he hasn't had his hit in a while. You know he's only here because he stopped doing moots and needs somewhere to stay apart from the law library. Mate, do you even remember what happened last time you took notos? You didn't sleep for a week. Yeah, and then you wrote this, what you thought was a cunning commentary on corporate culture and technology. But it was actually just you writing the word fish 340 times. Yeah, and then you took it to the law library staff and then you did this little dance, and then you passed out in front of them. Allegedly. What's important is that your notos is in a safe place now. No, uh, no caffeine for a while. So you are working together. Oh, I don't care. I just need a case. Watson, I need something to do! You solved one already, though. Killed a line by the looks of it. Don't, don't be ridiculous. You know, although he would have made a really fabulous trophy. There was just never a clear shot on Chris Hemsworth. I had to settle for a gorilla. You did harambe. How did you get back from Cincinnati so quickly? Uh, can I have a go now? I need a coffee, please. You're not going to get coffee. You're dressed far too well for that. Pardon? You're seeing that woman again, aren't you? Brooke, from Pantry, that's a new dress, a new lipstick, freshly applied. Now that wouldn't make sense if you were just going to go get coffee because it would smudge on the cup. That just doesn't make sense. Chanel, number five. Now that's a fancy little number to be wearing on just another day at work. Please. Now I really suggest you give up on that exploit because she has a boyfriend and broom that nobody knows about doing fly-in, fly-out work. No, I know that it's a dying industry. No, but that doesn't mean that you're going to disregard the man. What do you mean a man that no one knows about? Oh, well, no one but me! I have no idea what you're talking about. <sighs> I would do anything for a case. What about Monopoly? Absolutely not. Oh, you're not thinking about Easter, are you? Look. It's just about supply no, and demand. No, you took my four-year-old niece economically hostage. The youth have to learn that the economy is fickle. Yeah, but then you actually took her hostage. Like, you took her shoes, Holmes. They were collateral? That's not the rules of Monopoly, Holmes. Then the rules are wrong. A case? Yeah, it's from the faculty. They've seen it in a couple of firms as well. That's strange. Which ones? Alan's Linklater's and Herbert Smith Freehills. Looks like they'll be teamed up on this one. Perfect.